What's up? It's your favorite blurred veggie Uzumaki. And last night I saw a blue beetle. So we have something that we, I mean, me and you, we need to talk about. We need to discuss this blue beetle movie because we need to discuss where DC's direction is going. Uh, the bad things about this movie and the good things about this movie as well. So let's do it. All right. So I saw Blue Beetle last night. So you already know what I'm about to do. I'm about to tell you guys what I liked about it and what I personally did not like about Blue Beetle. Doing these reviews, it's always just so... It takes me a minute because I have to gather my thoughts after the movie and just kind of reflect on everything. But it's always just so... I don't know. So pretty much let's start here and let's start at the beginning of the movie. The thing about uh, Blue Beetle, especially at the beginning of the movie, was the beginning of the movie was insanely boring. It, I'm not going to lie. It was not that good. The first 15 minutes, I did not enjoy it. The sister, she was very cringy. A lot of the jokes were mid and they did not land. And this is coming from a hardcore DC fan. I love DC with a burning passion. Um... But that not being the only problem, uh, at first I also didn't feel a hardcore connection to the characters. However, I do think Blue Beetle did something that Shazam failed at. And what I mean by that is Blue Beetle gave us a closer connection to that f sense of family. Uh, and I started to like care about the characters more and more as the movie continued. Um, I would say the movie really didn't get good as well until about, let's say, when he brought the scarab home. When he brought the scarab home and the scarab literally went up his ass and attached itself to his spine, um, I thought that was freaking nuts. When they showed his powers, him flying into the atmosphere and also falling out, you know, out of orbit and activating his guns and stuff for the first time. I loved that. When the Scarab took over uh, Jaime's body or took over the suit and was about to kill that guy, I liked that too. I thought that was really cool. The villain, I enjoyed the villain. I thought he was really cool. At first, when I was looking at his suit when he came on screen, I was like, mm, this looks pretty whack. But Offset, you know, another point here, Lex, Lex Corp was also in the movie. And with Lex Corp being in the movie, that confirms Lex Luthor having a national reach because this movie did not take place in Metropolis. Um, going further into it, I also enjoyed them talking about Ted Cord and Ted Cord being a major focal point within the movie. Um, so, uh, post credit scene as well when um, Ted Cord was revealed to be possibly alive. That's something I kind of anticipated throughout the entire movie that I was excited to see that because I'm excited to see where that goes into the next movie. Um, let's see what else here. Um, the father dying, that really touched me. I thought that was very sad because there was nothing they could do about that. The Beetle tech was also super duper cool. In the movie, the CGI, everybody's complaining about the CGI. The CGI was not bad. It was not bad CGI. But I enjoyed the fight scenes as well. I think Blue Beetle was different in the sense of, from all the other DC movies, in the sense that what Blue Beetle did was set a different type of tone. They 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 were trying to be funny, but you can tell the jokes weren't for like hardcore the audience. They were really for the family, and you know jokes that they tell like within the family. Um, I'll elaborate more on my thoughts on the uh, the film, but overall, I thought it was a good film. I would rate it like a 7.8 out of 10. That's what I would give it.